What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. We're talking about how to maximize your glute growth. Just some tips that I've used over the years. Things that I've noticed have made a huge impact on how big or small my body looks. Let's go ahead and jump right into the first tip, which is to make sure you do some type of warm up before you jump into any exercise. Y'all always see me do a warm up, even when y'all don't see it, trust and believe I'm doing a warm up of some sort because it helps prevent injury, basically gets the muscles pumped before your actual workout. So you're not spending so much time focusing on like, am i feeling it here is this exercise working for me like you already know we started our warm-up out with some rdl just did them with a kettlebell you can do them with a band you can do them with a dumbbell it really doesn't matter you just want to make sure that whatever warm-up you choose is with lighter weight and higher rep that doesn't mean you have to stay at 20 pounds you can slowly progressively overload your warm-ups too so rdls and then i did some ham screen stretches and then this tricep of banded exercises absolutely amazing what i was doing here and if you've seen my other videos you've seen this already what i was doing here was holding my glute bridges for 30 seconds and then i think i did banded abductions and then after that i did just traditional glute bridges like i said before keep your reps high and really take this time to develop that mind to muscle connection we're jumping into our first exercise which brings me also into our next tip is that you have to learn how to do hinge movement you have to girl the way the glutes are stretched in that position if you're not doing them you're missing out on so much growth i will say that it is hard to master till this day i still find myself peeking over at the mirror making sure my form is right or doing a body weight set before my actual free weight set i haven't really found the perfect way to teach anyone everyone is going to be different but i do think it helps a lot if you do it against a wall when i perform my rdls i don't come all the way up to the top of the movement i stop right before i get to the top and kind of give my butt a little squeeze either way works whether you come to the top or not you just don't want to overextend to where you're putting an arch in your back let's continue on with our workout i'm doing my hip thrust now on the smith machine I recommend smith machine over free weight not yet at least i'm still experimenting with the smith machine i do like the squeeze a lot better i do like the squeeze i like the control so if you're someone looking for more control when you do hip thrust, do them on the Smith machine. If you're someone that's looking for more of a challenge, do them with barbell. Definitely exercise everyone needs to be doing if you are talking about you want to grow your glutes. I don't know. If you tell me that and you're not doing hip thrust, I'm like, then you don't want to grow your glutes. You're a liar. I don't care if you do them with dumbbells. I don't care if you do them with the same 20 pound dumbbells every week. You need to be doing hip thrusts. You can switch up your tempo. You can switch up your rep range. Definitely should add them into your routine if they're not because it's an exercise that targets the glutes directly. And if you're not doing anything, the one thing you should be doing is utilizing exercises that target the glutes directly. So that is tip number four or five. I don't know which one we on, but hip thrusts, sumo squats, we got cable kickbacks, RDLs. These are exercises that have no other muscle group in the way. Of course, there's always secondary muscles doing what they do. The next tip to help maximize your glute growth, make sure you're training heavy. The glutes can handle it. They're a very large muscle. That doesn't mean you want to overtrain them, so you don't want to train them every single day. And heavy for me is anywhere between two to four. I do four to six, I do six to eight. I really don't do my one rep max just because I don't find it necessary. That's not, I'm not looking to become a bodybuilder. For sure, train your glutes heavy if you want them to grow, except for things like your side glutes, your gluteus medius. You don't have to train that so heavy. You can train that in higher reps. You don't want to train it in the same way. You want it to be heavy for that muscle. Going into our hamstring exercises next, if you're training glutes and you're not training hamstrings, you're messing up. If you want to maximize your glutes, that means you're probably looking for more of a curvier physique. And if you want a curvier physique, you should be training your hamstring. The body just looks like art. The way they tie into the glute muscles, it just looks absolutely amazing. I've seen some, I've seen people that don't train their hamstrings and I've seen people that do and I always lean on 
the other side but it just looks good we are doing some single leg hamstring curls i usually don't do this exercise it's one of those pieces of equipment that nobody is ever on so i always just kind of go for it because i'm trying to get out of the gym and now i'm starting to like it mainly because i need to work on balancing my left and right hamstring my right one is weaker than my left one it's getting better but it's not there yet so I'm loving this machine for this reason other than that we did some straight leg deadlifts pausing at the end i really enjoy doing it helps you to feel at stretching your hamstring on the day that i'm recording this audio i've been slipping y'all eating so much food consistently is not an easy task i don't know why people out here are saying you know gaining weight must be easy it's not eating all that food is absolutely it's just beside me and that's that but the body's looking good like rdls for my straight leg that lifts i don't come all the way up to the top now i may if I feel like I need a rest, I stop right before the top of the movement and go right back down. That way the tension stays on the muscle. And then we're doing cable kickbacks. Everyone loves cable kickbacks. Do cable kickbacks, y'all. Do some form of kickbacks because it really lifts the butt. Kickbacks in any form really help lift the butt. What I've been doing with my kickbacks is I've, I've been doing them diagonal. I'm sure it's making a difference because I see a lot more of a lift. Um, I'm watching my video, but I see a lot more of a lift at the top of my glutes. So I'm doing them more diagonal. If you take a look at my feet, what I'm doing is I'm bringing my heel to my other heel. You kind of see I turn my foot outward and that's because I still want to aim for a straight line, but I'm going heel to heel because I'm trying to hit it at an angle. I'm trying to hit it diagonally. But cable kickbacks in any form are absolutely amazing. Add these to your workout if you want to see great lifting your glutes. My last and final tip before we get out of here is nutrition. We haven't talked about nutrition, but it is absolutely key. I cannot stress that enough. When I first started out, and got a story time. When I first started out gaining weight, um, I didn't realize how important nutrition was. So what happened was, is that my body was looking like, you know, a little more defined, a little like what people call toned. Um, but in actuality, I was losing weight because I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't eating enough for the um, activity level I was currently at. So I started to lose weight. I'll post a picture up here if y'all want to see it. But I definitely could see that my ribs were showing in that picture and it is a little like wow it was eye-opening for me which again take photos y'all i should leave that tip for like another day or i don't know you cannot remember how you look you can't you cannot remember i don't care how much you're doing in the gym if you're not eating according to your goals you're not going to see the progress you could see you're going to see some progress right because you're doing something you don't normally do but you're not going to see the progress you want to see because it's easier to get yourself to the gym than it is to follow a regimen other than that i don't think i want to give y'all any more tips the sun is going down, so yeah, that's it. I think that's everything we have. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed these tips. Let me know how you felt about it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, show me some love, and we out. Bye. Early baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Early baby, lady, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Miami City, she blowing me kisses. No, 30 degrees, way to go, but the home's on. Well, I see you at the show tonight. Well, I see you at the show tonight. Typo, nah, girl, I got it, that's life, though I can show you bigger things than that It's gonna be a minute till I'm back Let me get your images that last MX had a